Hi guys, welcome back to another Skyrim console mod video, bringing you guys 8 brand new console mods to look at on Xbox One and PS4. Today, as always, we have 4 for each console, so we can take a look in one second. First off guys though, I wanted to apologize for no uploads yesterday, I have some stuff to do, so it might be a bit of a slow week for uploads, but I will try to upload as many videos as possible. Anyway, we have some cool mods to look at, so let's just jump straight to our first mod of the day. Our first mod of the day is a cool immersive one called Skyrim is Windy. Have you ever found it weird that Skyrim doesn't really have any kind of wind visually or sounds? Skyrim is Windy is a mod made from scratch that will improve your immersion in Skyrim by making flora such as plants, bushes and trees animated to look like it reacts to the winds of Skyrim. It covers every asset for every DLC including trees, plants, bushes in Skyrim and of course Solstheim as well and since it doesn't use any external assets it's available for PS4. The mod isn't performance heavy, so doesn't cause any kind of lag, and is compatible with all the big weather and plant overhaul mods. Our next mod is a strange one called Forgotten Wenches. The mod changes Falmer's racial ability, so when they die a Forgotten Wench will spawn. This affects every Falmer, but you can toggle the chance of spawn of the Forgotten Wench if you want to. The Wenches come with custom spells, perks, AI and combat classes, and that means that there will be no conflicts with other mods that change vanilla AI combat behaviour. The mod doesn't change anything else, like the Falmer's level lists or anything, it only makes wenches spawn when the Falmer die. If the Falmer's die, the wenches will be allied with any other Falmer in the area, so they will always fight against you. A strange mod that adds in something a bit different to Skyrim, and so is worth checking out. Next up we have a very useful mod for any mage type character that you are playing. Do you want to give your mage user some armor rating without wearing actual armor? Do you like the Falmer clothing but are afraid of getting killed? Now you can use any type of clothing like robes and receive some ratings to your armor. Robes and hoods gain a light armor rating. Hooded robes gain additional benefits since you can't equip separate hoods with those. Circlets with magical abilities gain an armor rating based on their level and grade. The mod also adds hats, gloves, boots, shoes and any other clothing type with armor. The mod author plans to add additional stuff to this mod including working on adding perks for the clothing as well. So a nice little mod for anyone playing a mage or just wanting better protection in their civilian clothes. Our next mod is a vampire armor that adds Raziel's armor from the video game Legacy of Cain. The armor comes in two versions and adds in four pieces of light armor for warrior type characters, body, gloves, boots and circlets. The circlet is invisible and you need the steel crafting perk in order to forge them. It also adds in four pieces of clothing for maid type characters, body, gloves, boots and circlets. Again the circlet is invisible in this one and these can all be crafted at the tanning rack. In terms of damage resistance for the steel light version it has about the same resistance as elven or dwarven armor so it's pretty decent. In terms of damage resistance for the four pieces of clothing, well they're clothing and so they don't have any armor rating at all. Of course all of these can be upgraded and enchanted if you want to make them more powerful. This armor obviously only comes for male versions and it will only ever come for male versions but it's still a really cool armor. Our next mod is a fun nostalgic mod for anyone who has played older Elder Scrolls games. All the mod does is simply add to the game the classic classes for you to select like fighter, mage, thief and cleric. All the new classes come with their own stats and abilities like any other race and they each have a unique power. For example clerics come with the starting power of turning undead and heal other. Magic users have boosted magicka and spell resistance. Fighters with the ability to rally and thief has night vision. Overall a fun mod that gives you some more options on how to play in game. Our next mod adds to the game Shigarith everyone's favourite Prince of Madness as a follower. If you're looking to recruit him you can find him in the Winken Skeever in Solitude. Shigarith can make a very powerful and useful companion, he has been dressed in his default outfit and has been given a unique version of Wabajack to use in combat along with several high level destruction spells. He is essential and so cannot die and you don't have to worry about him levelling with you as he starts off at level 108. His main skills are one handed, destruction, illusion, heavy armour and restoration for which he starts off at level 100. He also knows some one handed, archery, alteration, conjuration and sneak but he's only level 15 for those. Overall a cool follower to have around, he's fully voiced and he's very powerful. Well guys our next mod is another game tweak by Spock Rates. This mod seeks to make all followers and companions in the game like animals immortal so that they cannot be killed by anyone in game including by you accidentally. In order to achieve this the mod does two things. One, it marks all 65 potential followers, even dogs, huskies, death hounds and troll followers of the vanilla game essential, which means they are immortal and cannot be killed, even by your own friendly fire. When their health drops to 1, they drop to 1 knee and no further attacks will harm them. Number 2, it levels all the followers to a maximum level of 90, even the animals and creature followers, so they'll be more helpful in combat as well when your character reaches higher levels. 
so no longer will you have to worry about your companions and followers dying with you. A small but cool mod for anyone to download. Our final mod is called Castle Valdmire. Castle Valdmire is a vampire inspired player home located beside Secunda's Kiss just southwest of the Western Watchtower. It includes plenty of safe storage, armour, mannequins, weapon racks, displays for black books, masks, indoor smithing and much more. It has all the essentials you could need, living areas, dining rooms, kitchens, enough bedrooms for all your followers, companions and family and more, enough storage space, weapon racks and display cases for all your stuff, all the shrines in the game are also available inside, an alchemy room, indoor smithing area with all the stuff you can need to craft along with an enchanter as well of course. The house even comes with your own horse, followers and even merchants. There's way too much to go over in this video but the house is very cool looking. The design and layout are very nice and this house is definitely worth checking out, not just if if you're playing as a vampire character. Well guys there we have it, 8 brand new console mods for Skyrim Special Edition for PS4 and Xbox One. If you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments and of course like and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day guys and I will see you all next time for more Skyrim Special Edition videos. See you all then.